to determine a multiplier to eliminate. Um, this is, actually is different than the other ones that we have done because our denominator is variables, right? But it doesn't matter if it was like the first problem I did where we found our least common multiple to be 12. We need to figure out a value where x plus 7 and x both divides into. And in reality, the LCM is just going to be as simple as x times x plus 7. OK, yes? 3x plus 25. 3x plus 25? Thank you. OK, so now, just like I did in that first example, I'm going to multiply everything times x times x plus 7. And again, for kind of learning purposes, I'm just going to write it all out. But I'm not going to expect you guys to write it all out, nor am I going to continue to do this throughout the year. But I just want to make sure you guys were all on the kind of same page as we start off. All right, does everybody at least follow me from the step, from what I did? All right, now it just gets into the bore of the algebra and making sure that we can do all this. But again, the purpose of finding the x plus x plus 7 is x plus 7 divides into it, and the x divides into it. So now I just have um, 3 times, so, but we've got to be careful. This is an expression, so that's really in parentheses, and everything else is there. So in reality, I have. Actually, let me just write it out. I have x times 3x plus 25 minus 5x times x plus 7 equals 3 times x plus 7. So after I simplified that out, once I got rid of my denominators, now I have this huge multi-step equation. Right? But we practice these in Algebra 2, and you know they're not always fun, but we can go ahead and simplify this out. So I get 3x squared plus 25x minus 5x squared minus 35 equals 3x plus 21. We notice that it's a quadratic, so therefore I'm going to want to get all the terms to one side and set it equal to 0 so I can factor to solve. Um, 3x squared minus 5x squared is going to be a negative 2x squared. Um, I'm going to want to subtract a 3x on both sides. So, ooh, did I do this wrong? 25 minus, oh, that's 35x, right? There we go. OK. Um, so therefore, 25x minus 35x is negative 10x. Minus 3x is going to be a negative 13x. And then I need to subtract the 21 to both sides. I know it's a lot of moving pieces, but that ends up being my quadratic that I obtained. Does anybody have any questions? Because I had to kind of work through that kind of quickly. Does everybody follow what I did? Cool? OK. So now we just need to factor this. Um, remember when factoring, ladies and gentlemen, I always we, we can always, um, I don't like my first term to be negative. So I'm just going to divide both terms by negative 1 to eliminate that negative in front. So I have a 2x squared uh, plus 13x plus 21 equals 0. Um, now this kind of brings into, uh, again, a factoring technique, which it's a little bit different in this case. Um, but we want to determine our factors. Notice that my uh, factors now start with 2x and x because they have to multiply to give me 2x squared. So I just need to figure out what factors multiply to give me 21. Well, fortunately, I have limited possibilities here. So I have 21 and 1 and 7 and 3. But remember, when we do all this math, they have to add up to give us uh, 13. And when I figure that out, I get 2x plus 7 and x plus 3. I can always mentally check my math. 2x times x is 2x squared. Uh, 2x times 3, which is 6x, plus 7 times x, um, which would be 13x. And then 7 times 3 is 21. Okay. Um, now I can apply the zero product property, set them both equal to 0. And I get x equals negative 7 halves 
and x equals negative 3. Start to move ahead a little bit quicker. Anybody have a question on a, skip, on a step that I skipped? Because I did skip a couple.